audible and visible in both app and YouTube. Please write uh, yes, sir, you are audible so that we can start our session. If my voice is uh, audible or visible, then write in the comment section mein do, yes, sir, you are audible uh, so that I can start our session. So, uh, as we, you can see the thumbnail, it talks about uh, the topics that we'll be discussing today's economics, government scheme, census, science and technology. So, in from these sections, they have asked questions from this net and that is why I am giving you this question. Am I audible guys? Mere awaz aari hai? Okay, let's start with the question answer. I'll be giving you questions. You are supposed to answer it in the comment section. Yes. So the first question is, which of the following is an indirect tax? Your options are income tax, GST, <coughs> corporate tax, all of the above. What is the right answer to this question? So this is a previous year question. Many, pre some of the previous year question also I'll be showing. And some of the questions will be based on the previous year pattern, right? So <coughs> they actually expects you to know the difference between direct tax and indirect tax. If you know the difference, you can answer it very easily. Yes, very good. A lot of people, Harshita, uh, Anjala, Alaudi, Naman, Naman, and Shifa, you all are right. The right answer to this question is GST, that is goods and services tax, is considered as an indirect tax. Okay. Yes, income tax and corporate taxes are direct tax. Can anyone tell me in the live chat that what is the definition of direct tax and how it is different from indirect tax? Yes. So basically, the direct tax is the one in which the burden cannot be passed on to others. So if you are supposed to pay the income tax, you have to pay. You cannot pass it to other people. But in, it's not the case with, I mean, this is the example of direct tax. You can see uh, like uh, real property tax, personal property tax, income tax, uh, gift tax, capital gains tax, which we call it as CGT. Okay. But uh, indirect tax means the burden can be transferred to others. For example, if you buy a product, let's say a biscuit, then of course it is levied from you. And the company asks from you and the company gives it to the uh, government and all. Yes, indirect tax. Yes. So like uh, VAT, GST and all. So these are uh, indirect taxes. So they are actually supposed to, uh, uh, I mean, they are expecting you to know that direct tax and indirect tax. Okay. Now the next question is, what is the share of agricultural sector in India's GDP? This is two, three years back. So uh, this question was asked. No, VAT is also an indirect tax, Naman. VAT is an indirect tax, huh? 16%, 10%, 30%, 40%. What is the right answer to this question? Agricultural sector in India's GDP. So you should be knowing all the three sectors contribution. I mean primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sectors contribution in GDP. So agriculture is primary sector. I hope you are aware. Anna. Yes, uh, the right answer actually is A is the right answer. Yes, uh, Vedehi, Sunny. Sangeeta, Pranjol, you are right. So 16% get around. So see, uh, the, uh, actually the uh, things gets keeps on changing. So, uh, but just have an idea if we see the latest one, the latest figure, it is 16%, maybe somewhere written 15, 16, 17, it keeps like this. Okay. So this is actually the primary sector, the agriculture. Then this one actually is industry, is secondary sector. I hope you are aware. And the tertiary sector is having the largest share in the GDP of that country. So just have an idea for, for that. Yes, for CMAT also you can watch Swati, of course. Huh? Uh, so since they have asked about agriculture sector, you, you must be knowing about other sectors as well, secondary and tertiary sector. The next is, which of the following is the largest employer, primary sector, secondary sector, a tertiary sector, all provide equally. What is the right answer? Subsidy the employment, which generate sector? Karta hai? Primary, secondary or tertiary? What is the right answer? I am waiting for the response. Anyone? So the largest employer means the, uh, the uh, I mean the maximum amount of job creation. So it is done actually in the primary sector. Yes. So you will be surprised to know that that is what actually the idea is. So 16% only GDP contribution, but 42.6% employment contribution. Why? What do you mean by this? It means there is a lot of what we call it as disguised unemployment. So this is a word you must have heard. It means there are a lot of people which are actually employed in agriculture, but they are not supposed to be employed there. Okay, because, uh -huh, yes. And then, of course, uh, industry and then service sector, right? So it means this is called as, this shows disguised unemployment. Ki 
the sec, I mean the contribution in agriculture, uh, uh, the contribution GDP of agriculture is very less, but the contribution in employment generation is very high. Uh, the reason is very simple because a lot of people who are not supposed to do agriculture jobs, uh, what we call, we, this is the word used, hai na? A disguised unemployment. So for example, let's say in, an, in a land where actually five laborers are enough to do the tilling or do the pluffing, 10 people are working because the other five do not have any work. So they are unnecessary working there. Okay. Yes. That is what the idea is. Yes. Virinda, the percentage keeps on changing. Ah, yes. So just have an idea about it. Uh, but a basic idea on The next one is that the control of a significant share of the supply or production of a particular good or service by a firm is called as chronic capitalism, monopsony, monopoly, none of the above. I think this is an easy question. Exact percentage नहीं याद रखना एक मोटा मोटी basic idea होना चाहिए कि this is the least then this is and this is how I mean ठीक है तो सबसे ज़्यादा primary sector employment generate करता है then tertiary secondary इस तरह याद रखना बस ठीक है no need to remember the percentage but just have an idea हाँ so actually this is monopoly I hope you all are aware right this I mean we are taught since childhood also I mean monopoly create कर रहा है बंदा जैसे हम लोग कहते हैं ना कि so if someone is enforcing ensuring that yes only his or her market should be there should the business should work so that's called as uh, monopoly so c is the right answer to this question this is beneficial for cmat also harsh patel you can watch huh? uh, the next is economic reforms in india happened in which year 91 92 93 94 what is the right answer sabko like button press karte jo. everyone please press the like button okay so sabko like button press karte jo. what is the right answer to this question Kya sahi jawab hai? economic reforms in india happened in 1991 i hope you all are aware of that so a is the right answer to this question ठीक है यस मेनी पीपल हैव आंसर्ड हिमांश अलाउद्दीन सोजाता मीरा स्तोति यू ऑल आर राइट नाउ व्हेन 1994 इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स हैपेन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वाज नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स लिबरलाइजेशन रेगुलराइजेशन प्राइवेटाइजेशन ग्लोबलाइजेशन व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्या सही जवाब है इकोनॉमिक रिफॉर्म्स जो हुआ उसमें तीन इंपॉर्टेंट चीज हुई एक चौथा जो नहीं हुआ था व्हाट इज दैट 1995 1991 रिफॉर्म्स which of the following was not a part of that and it is a very famous term we use actually the term used is LPG liberalization privatization and globalization so it's not regularization this I have added from my side so yes uh, LPG reforms liberalization privatization globalization happened in 1991 and I go and read it on uh, Baiju's website it is available so and uh, who was the Prime Minister of India when LPG reforms happened in India? Your options are P.V. Narasimha Rao, Manmohan Singh, Chandrasekhar, uh, Chandrasekhar Morarji Desai. What is the right answer to this question? When LPG reforms were in 1991, mein, so who was the Prime Minister of India? And can anyone tell me who was the Finance Minister as well? In 1991, during in 1991 LPG reforms. Uh, so the Prime Minister of India was P.V. Narasimha Rao. And the finance minister at that time was Mr. Manmohan Singh. Okay. Yes. Yes, A is the right answer. Ah, many people are right. Ah. So those who are answering Manmohan Singh, please be careful. Uh, Manmohan Singh was the prime minister from 2004 to 2014. Okay. Ah, yes, Manmohan Singh was the prime, uh, finance minister. So please, this uh, the question to this uh, answer to this question is PB and RSM or A is the right answer. Ah, Manmohan Singh was the finance minister. Right. Ah, good. Okay, uh, the next one is what is the forex of India according to the latest economic survey data? Forex means foreign exchange reserve. What is the foreign exchange reserve data? I mean, recently the economic survey was released um, on 31st January. So, according to that, what is the foreign exchange reserve of India? $607 billion, $563 billion, $478 billion, $712 billion. What is the right answer, guys? Yes, Aman Misha, very good. Uh, Rohit, Rohit, Jaya, Alauddin, you all are right. The right answer is $563 billion. So B is the right answer, Ritika, Naman, you all are right. Uh, you can see here it is actually the uh, short of economic survey, I mean uh, a small uh, snap of it. And this is the latest one, $563 billion, which is actually the December 2022 figure actually. So it varies a little bit, but just have an idea that it is around 550 something. So just have an idea about that. Uh, after the class is over, please read this. This I have put it in uh, uh, on your slide. So after the class is over, read this, uh, uh, the entire slide, because there can be question from here. 
Okay, the next is what is the fiscal deficit target according to the budget 23-24 for the year 2023? Revised estimate. Your options are 5.9%, 6.4%, 3%, 4.1%. They have asked questions from budget and economic survey. If you see the previous year question. So that is why I am giving questions on that pattern. Uh, 2023-22 ka fiscal year, it is going to end. I mean, in this year, I mean, 31st March 2023. And this fiscal year is going to end. So what is the fiscal deficit target? Yes, 6.4% is the right answer. Actually, uh, some people are saying 5.9, but no, the right answer is 6.4. See, be careful. Yes, B is the right answer. Deco, for the next year, actually, this is the target. For 2023-2024, the target is 5.9, but for this, the target is 6.4%. So this year, the target is 6.4% in budget. Achha, agar yahan pe dekhoge, you can see it here also. Uh, even in the economic survey also it is written that this year it is the 6.4% fiscal deficit target. right? And the uh, finance minister, Mr. Uh, Ms. Nirmala Sitarman has said ki, uh, for the next fiscal year, our target is ki, for the, uh, I mean, by the end of next fiscal year, means by the end of 31st March 2023, I am saying it would be actually 5.9%. So you have to be very much crystal clear about this. Uh, there should not be any confusion in this regard. Now the next is what is the inflation target set by RBI? Your options are 2 to 6%, 4 to 6%, 0 to 6%, 2 to 8%. What is the right answer to this question? Target kya set kiya gaya RBI ki dwara? That it should be within it. Uh, there's a homework. After the class is over, read about MPC. How many members are there? Who is the chairman of monetary policy committee? So this is the homework. Go and read about it. Monetary policy committee. Uh, the right answer actually to this question is... Yes, very good. Stuti, Atul, you all are right. A is the right answer. Some people are answering B, but no, the right answer is A. So 2 to 6% is the inflation limit. It should not be less than 2% and it should not be more than 6%. It should be within this range. So A is the right answer. Yes, Sangeeta, Kajal, uh, Kumari, Parth, you all are right. A is the right answer to this question. Now, if you see the inflation, uh, this is CPI and WPI inflation. And if you see it carefully, both are actually above 6%. It means they have crossed the tolerance band. So they should be within 6%, but unfortunately it is not. And that is why these types of articles were coming. Even in, on 1st, 15th February, this article was there. Retail inflation hits 6.01%, breaches the tolerance band. And so it should not cross more than 6%. So if you see even in the economic survey as well and, and in the recent January data, it is crossing that 6% mark. A monetary policy committee, six members are there. Yes, Tuti. Okay, uh, before moving on, there's a small announcement. We are running a CAT 2023 comprehensive program. 300 plus EKG videos, 135 plus live sessions, 75 plus mock test, 10,000 practice question would be provided. And we are running this Disnet GK section till Thursday. I mean, 23rd will be, we'll be having a session at 9.30 p.m. So do follow me tomorrow also. Okay? And subscribe to our channel also. And this is the last lab to Disnet series we are running actually uh, from 15 February onwards at 8 p.m. on our YouTube channel. Do follow it. Now let's talk about government schemes. Now, they have asked questions from government schemes. That is why I am giving this. Uh, the Satchar Committee was formed in 2005 to report on social, economic and educational condition of what? Scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, OBC, other backward caste, Muslims. What is the right answer to this question? Sab koi like button press kado, guys. Everyone, yes. Sab koi everyone, please press the like button. At least 200 plus likes, likes le jana hai. Yes. Or subscribe kar do, niche subscribe ka button hai. So subscribe to that also. Okay. Yes, actually Justice Rajendra Satchar, he, Justice Rajendra Satchar was ex-Chief Justice of Delhi High Court. Okay. And when Manmohan Singh was the Prime Minister, he set up a committee to find out actually the social, economic and education condition of Muslims. This was asked in testnet exam. That is why I am giving this question. Okay. So D is the right answer to this question. Now, let's talk about this one. This is a quite interesting question from schemes, government schemes. They are asking the question, Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana has, uh, uh, was launched for, was, uh, yeah, has been launched. Uh, your options are providing housing loans to poor people at cheaper rates, providing financial help to small enterprise in rural areas, promoting financial inclusion in the country, promoting women's self-help group in backward areas. So what is the right answer to this question? This was a quite interesting question. And I hope uh, you all are aware of this. I mean, it's became so famous, Pardhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana. Achha, aapne ek chiz naam suna hoga, means, 
स्टिल नो यूनानिमस आंसर आई एम शॉक्ड यस नमन पालक स्तोति सौरभ यू आर राइट ओके हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट दिस जन धन अकाउंट जन धन अकाउंट सुना है टू ओपन बैंक अकाउंट दिस वाज द टारगेट यस दोस हु डू नॉट हैव बैंक अकाउंट their bank account needs to be opened even zero balance account yes you must be aware of that so that is called as financial inclusion means including those people who are not included into the financial network or the uh, organized financial network means banking system so that is called as financial inclusion so c is the right answer to this question if you read the wikipedia the first line says this it is a financial inclusion program yes launched on 15th august 2000 14 so just have an idea about it yes c is the right answer the next is a stand up india scheme is a related with kuch question aaye the uh, is a related uh, scheme related with uh, is uh, to promote hygiene in rural areas to promote khadi products to promote handicraft of tribals to promote entrepreneurship of sc st what is the right answer to this question stand up india scheme kya cheez ke liye hai देखो जस्ट अप्लाई द लॉजिक इट इज सिमिलर टू स्टार्टअप इंडिया यस सो स्टार्टअप इंडिया इज टू प्रोमोट स्टार्टअप इन इंडिया एंड देट वॉट इज स्टैंड अप इंडिया इट इज टू प्रोमोट स्टार्टअप फॉर एस सी एस टी एंड वोमेन ऑल्सो सो प्लीज एड वोमेन ऑल्सो इट सो डी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है सो इट इज नथिंग बट अ स्टार्टअप इंडिया स्कीम फॉर शेड्यूल कास्ट पीपल शेड्यूल ट्राइब एंड वोमेन पीपल आई मीन फॉर देम एक्चुअली वी आर हैविंग स्पेशल थिंग कॉल्ड एज स्टैंड अप इंडिया स्कीम ओके सो दीज टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी आज ठीक है Uh, there's a homework after the class is over. Read one line about all these, because they have asked question from Sagar Mala. Okay, so here are the question puchte hain. Make in India industrial corridor, dedicated freight corridor, Uran scheme, Ude Desh ka am nagrik, Digital India, Bharat Net and Umang, and Bharat Mala, Bharat Mala and Sagar Mala. So they have asked question from here, Sagar Mala. So after the class is over, read each and every one. This is a homework from my side, and from there they can ask questions. Uh, the next one is Uday scheme is related with what? to promote hygiene in rural areas to promote khadi products to promote handicrafts of tribal solve financial issues in power distribution company what is the right answer and if you know it uh, what is the full form of uday this was also asked in some exam i was seeing the previous year question because i keep on seeing the previous year question of a lot of exam right so it's i think ujwal discom Assurance Yojana. Now, please tell me. Now, see. Uh, let me tell you. Yes. Uh, Discom means what? If you know it, Discom means distribution company. Discom means this. ठीक है. And when we are talking about distribution company, we are talking about power distribution company. So the right answer is D is the right answer to this question. ठीक है. So that yes, many people have answered D. Mayank Palak. Yes, Rishika, you are right. D is the right answer. Uh, Ujwal Discom Assurance Yojana. Please go and read about it. How to solve this uh, financial issue mess in the uh, power distribution company. Uh, the next one is Sagar Mala Pariyojana. They have asked questions. So is related with port led development, highway development, railway grid development, developing inland, inland waterways. Okay, actually, miss kar gaya. What is the right answer? yet developing inland uh, i think i am unable to recall this option so i am very sorry for this actually sagar mala pariyojana is related with a uh, port led development theek hai so the right answer is a is the right answer to this question theek hai and highway development is uh, related with bharat mala pariyojana these are the questions being asked bharat mala scheme or bharat mala pariyojana theek hai so here the right answer is a is the right answer theek hai yes हाँ सागर से पोर्ट ही बनेगा राइट नमन राइट हाँ सो समाइम्स इफ यू नो द हिंदी यू कैन ट्रांसलेट इट एंड यू विल रीच टू द आंसर यस ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन पोर्ट लेट प्रॉस्पेरिटी इट इज रेटन है ना अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पोर्ट शिपिंग एंड वाटर वेज सागर माला परियोजना तो यहाँ पे बना हुआ भी लोगों में शिप बना हुआ है पानी है ना सन है नेक्स्ट हाँ द नेक्स्ट वन इज आयुष्मान भारत स्कीम इससे भी क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली आया है सो लेट मी राइट इट प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन स्लाइटली डिफरेंट टाइप का पूछा है मैंने थोड़ा सा चेंज कर दिया है ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल्सो टेस्टेड प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन विद स्लाइटली चेंज फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन स्कीम गर्ल्स एजुकेशन स्कीम हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट स्कीम आयुष्मान भारत स्कीम कैचे से रिलेटेड है सो देर इज अनदर नेम फॉर इट एक्चुअली एंड वट इज इट्स अनदर नेम अनदर नेम इज पी एम जय 
Yes, the right answer is C. Health insurance, PMJ. What, do you, what is the full form of PMJ? I am waiting for the answers. Pradhan Mantri or Prime Minister, Jan Arogya Yojana. Jan Arogya Yojana. So just be aware of it. These types of questions have been asked. So C is the right answer. Yes, a lot of people have answered. So C is the right answer. But Ayushman Bharat, Pradhan Mantri, Jan, uh, Jan Arogya Yojana. So go and read it. So after the class is over, read the first passage of Wikipedia. Yes, they are asking questions, so they can ask it again. Okay, yes. Uh, the next one is, Achha, ek aur hai, Aishman Bharat, Digital Health Mission karke bhi kuch hai. Usko ga, Digital Health ID will be created and all. So go and read about it after the class is over. Uh. The next is, which of the following is not a part of sustainable development goals? Your options are promotion of decent jobs. Actually, a previous year question, I am showing you this. Uh, we have already discussed in the first class the SDGs. So I am asking this question. Uh, the next is access to digital technology services for all, access to sustainable energy for all, availability of water and sanitation for all. Cone's a part in SDG. Ka. So apply the logic. SDG was created in 2015 and the target is to be achieved by 2030. Okay. Hey, jobs. Ke liye hai. Virinda Katari, you are right. John T. Kazmi, yes. B is the right answer. More perfect. The promotion of decent jobs. Ke liye hai. Dekho na. Decent work and economy growth. Hai na? Ye wala, this one. So this can be, this is not correct. Take access to sustainable energy. Bhi hai. Sustainable energy, go and find out. Sustainable cities and all. Hai na? And then availability of water and sanitation is also a part of it. Clean water and sanitation. But digital technology, kaisi kuch baat nahi kahi gayi. Take care, so just have an idea. Uh, that is why I have repeatedly said ki after the class is over, read it. Three, four times, I had said before. Three, four times SDG. They have asked multiple questions from Sustainable Development Goals. There are 17 Sustainable Development Goals. They have asked multiple times. So read it carefully. Shuru ke char paas to I would suggest yaad rakho at least read the, remember the initial five. Hai na? Uh, the next is PM Swanidhi is a scheme for what? Minorities, for ma street vendors, for organic farming, for drone mapping of land. What is the right answer? Sabko like button press karte jau. We are seeing 162. I mean... Uh, more than uh, at least it should be 200 plus likes should be go. Uh. So, sabko like button press kar de, everyone and subscribe to our channel. Niche subscribe ka button hoga. Usko press kar de na. So that whenever we will put a new video, let's say tomorrow at 9.30 pm, I will be coming up with this session. So, subscribe to that. PM Swanidhi is a scheme for street vendors. Yes, Aman, uh, Mishra, Parth, Pranjul, you all are right. Vipash, uh, Naman, you all are right. Huh? For street vendors. Dekho, kabhi -kabhi na, a question ke andar answer hota hai. See. Yes, here is the answer. Street vendors, right? So if you read it, especially if it is written in capital letter, so the answer sometimes is in that capital letter. Us capital letter mein answer hota hai. Theek hai? Yes. Uh, it, it is not always true, but, like in, but it works. I have seen this type of logic working. PM Streets Vendor Aad Nirbar Nidhi. So this is to provide loans. Microcredit means to provide loans to a smaller level. So this when the lockdown happened, the street vendors had nothing. I mean, in that case is actually this was the case. Similarly, there was a question asked in Pardhan Mantri Gharib Kalyan Anne Yojana. This was asked in previous year question in Tisnet. So I'm giving a homework. Please go and read about it. Some changes have been done in December last year. And that is why this is a homework. Find out what was the change that was done last year in December. Pradhan Mantri Gharib Kalyan and Yojana. And they have asked actually, they have asked questions in a testnet previous year. Okay. So that is why I am giving this, telling you to read it. Uh, the next is Swamitva scheme is related with what? Minorities for digitization on rural areas, for organic farming, for, for drone mapping of land. What is the right answer? Yes, see Jababe? Yes, Swamitva scheme. Uh, A, some people are saying D. Yes, uh, the right answer actually is D is the right answer. Uh, yes, Tuti Shukla. Actually, this is, should be in capital letter. So, this is Swamitva scheme. Survey for village abadi and mapping with improvised technology in village areas. So, basically, with the help of drone technologies, the land mapping that this land in rural area belongs to this person, this land belongs to this person. So, with the help of that rural, in rural areas, drone mapping is done with the help of drones. So, D is the right answer. Yes, Naman, Alex, Palak, Vaman, you all are right. Take a full form B. Survey of village abadi and mapping with improvised technology in village areas. 
Now the next is Samarth scheme is for what? Minorities, for digitization in rural areas, for organic farming, skill development in textile sector. What is the right answer? Sabko like button press kato guys. Everyone please press the like button. Yes. So Samarth scheme is related with skill development in the textile sector. So D is the right answer. Yes, Amit Yadav, Mayur, you all are right. Uh, Samarth scheme and a skill development in textile sector. Okay. So go and find out what is the full form of it. Okay. D is the right answer. Yes, Pranjur Ritika. A lot of people have answered it. Then this actually is very famous scheme. Uh, PM Ujwal Yojana is related with what? To provide LPG to women of BPL families, to provide LED lights in village areas, to provide subsidized food to poor, none of the above. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is the answer to this question? There is PM Ujwal hai, Ujjavla hai. Thoda sa ka farak hai. There is the only difference of A. So this scheme is a different scheme. This is related with to fight human trafficking. Ko fight karne ke liye. And Ujwal Yojana is related with providing LPG cylinders to women BPL families. Right? Ah. So A is the right answer to this question. You can see it here. Hana. Uh, Ujwal Yojana. Hana. Ek aur scheme hai, LED provides karne ke liye. There is a scheme called as Ujala scheme. Isko bhi padh lena. It's a homework. Okay, yes, and one more thing is that uh, he uh, yes, Achha, one it's a small announcement is that at 5 30 pm on 25th February, hai, so we will be having a test net analysis session. Hai. Uh, most likely, I'll be there uh, to take that class. So, uh, Keep on following that. Take it. Take it. Ah, yes. Now let's move on to the next one. PM Kisan is related with what? Uh, these are your options. Promoting organic farming. Minimum income support to farmers. Loan waiver scheme for farmers to encourage SSGs in village area. What is the right answer to this question? Haan, Uran is Ode Desh Kam Nagrik. Yes. Alex for aviation sector related. Haan. PM Kisan catch is related. So actually, yes, Kajal Kumari Abhijit, yes, Angela, yes, right. Minimum income support to farmers. So B is the right answer. Hai? Ah. So what is it? 2000, I mean 6000 rupees provided. So with 2000 rupees in three installment. Hai na? So, so basically, huh, that's called as PM uh, Kisan Samman Nidhi is its name. Okay, so just have an idea. Okay, yes. Huh. So again, I'm announcing on 25th February at 5.30 PM, uh, I'll be doing testnet analysis for GK section especially. Huh, nah? okay. So do follow me there. Huh. Now let's talk about census. Isse bhi sare sawal so let's ask, the first census happened in the year 1872, 1881, 1891, 1901. What is the right answer? Everyone, please press the like button, guys. Yes. On the same YouTube channel, 25th February, 5.30 p.m., we'll be having session for test net exam analysis. First census happened when? So it happened during home, 1872. So A is the right answer to this question, during Lord Mayo. Okay. If they are asking first census ka bua, to aap batao ge Lord Mayo ke time pe. But if someone is asking first synchronous census, agar aisa word likha rahe, first synchronous census, then answer should be 1881 during Lord Ripon. So I am talking about the governor generals and all. Thik hai? Yes, uh, A is the right answer, very good. Isko question ka answer hai. Ah, uh, the next is the most latest census of India, 2011, 2021, 2001, none of the above. Sabse latest kaun sa census hua hai? Sabko like button press kado. Everyone, please press the like button, guys. Ah, sabko like button press kado. The most latest census uh, which happened in India was of what? So yes, the right answer is 2011. Yes, Amit Yadav. Uh, it is actually supposed to happen every 10 years. So ideally, it was supposed to happen in 2021. But because I hope you are aware of the COVID and all the first wave, second wave. So, so much disturbance in the last two, three years. I mean, so that is why. So A is the right answer to this question. Now. This is a quite interesting question. Which of the following is known as Great Dividing Year? 1901, 1911, 1921, 
Yes, uh, it's actually 1921. Uh, so uh, C is the right answer to this question. Yes, yes, Palak Gupta, you are right. Now, why? What is the reason? I'll tell you the reason. Uh, we have seen COVID pandemic in 2019-20, you can say. Uh, Okay, but it started in China in 2019. So similarly, I think around 1919, uh, Spanish flu happened, which killed a lot of people. And that is why the population of India got decreased like this. So here is 1901, here is 1911, here is 1921, 1931, like this. So basically, the population of India was increasing. Suddenly, in 1921, it actually, uh, I mean, uh, suddenly, actually, yeah, yeah, we saw in 1921, the, actually, the graph went down and it went like this. Why? Because in 1919, uh, this, uh, what we call it as Spanish flu happened, huh? Then not roll attack, Shivalik, uh, not because of that, because of Spanish flu and all. Huh? The population suddenly got decreased. Uh, as compared to 1911, huh? The next is among which tribal group in India, the practice of matrilineage is followed. See, this is a quite interesting question. Huh? Khasi, Garasia, Mina, Bhil. What is the right answer? Okay, there is one more homework. Go and find out which is the largest scheduled tribe. I mean, uh, largest scheduled tribe population uh, tribe. I mean, I mean to say ki largest tribe in India. Your homework. Hai. Go and find out and make notes out of it. These are the questions will be asked. Ha, Khasi. So Khasi Garo, Khasi Janti are hells actually. Hai na? Matrilini means the practice of tracing descent from mother. Yani instead of father's side, from mother's side, we, fo we follow the, I mean, uh, the... Uh, lineage is followed hana. so actually uh, i hope you are aware in meghalaya there are three hills uh, garo khasi jantia hana. these are very famous hills on the name of the tribes living there so actually khasi tribe is famous for that enough okay is the right answer let's move on to the next one according to the census 2011 this is a quite interesting question and i'll tell you honestly uh, even with the help of some logic you could have answered it as well uh, which are the following group of states occupies top three places? State slash union territory. Top three places with respect to literacy. Ab dekho, generally, whenever we talk about literacy, we keep Kerala at the rank one. But in all the four options, Kerala is given. So you cannot eliminate any option. Hai? Now you are supposed to answer <laughs> this question. And this was a quite interesting uh, question. Uh, the right answer actually to this question is yes. Uh, a is the right answer, Naman, Lahari, Risha, you all are right. Uh, Kerala, Lakshadweep and Mizoram. So if you see Lakshadweep, we are having 91.85% literacy. In Mizoram, 91.33% and Kerala, 94%. So these are the literacy rate here. Here is the current literacy rate. So they are actually very high. 90 plus is considered as very high huh? in India. Of course, A is the right answer. Now, according to census 2011, what is the literacy rate of India? 74%, 85, 68, 65. What is the right answer? To this question. Uh, India में literacy rate कहाँ है? क्या कितनी है? इस census 2011 की साप से. तो कुछ तो आप कर सकते हो. I mean uh, answer. हाँ. What is the right answer? Yes, the right answer is actually 74 percent. कहीं कहीं पर 73.03 भी लिखते हैं. तो चलो 73, 74 is the right answer. So A is the right answer to this question. ठीक है. So India की जो literacy है वो 74.04 है. Sex ratio, jo na, let me correct it, 943 out of 1000. Hai, hai? 1000 males to 943 females. Hai? And this is the population according to 2011 census. Us time par 1.21 billion. Tha. Ab to bad gaya. I mean, now we are having 1.4 billion or more than that. This is the density of India. 382 person per kilometer square. Hai? Okay. Yes. Huh. Uh, the next is first census of independent India. Dekho, ye question pucha hai. They had asked it. I, I have asked the question first census of India. Now they are asking first census of independent India happened in 1950, 51, 49, 48. This is a pure logic question. You can answer it with the logic only even if you are not aware of this. Yes, Amit Yadav, very good. Uh, dekho, uh, Always remember, so the first census happened in 1872, then after 1881, and after that, every time it happened on the first year, 1891, 1901, 1911. So it happens like this. Last time, one should be 2001, 2011, 2021, like this. So that is why you should be knowing that we got independence in 1947, but the, uh, the census happened in 1951, right? B is the right answer. Which state has the maximum population density? Your options are Bihar, UP, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal. What is the right answer? Dekho, 
आई एम नॉट आस्किंग हाइएस्ट पॉपुलेशन आई एम आस्किंग पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी मतलब घनी आबादी पूछ रहे हैं कि इन वन किलोमीटर स्क्वायर एरिया हाउ मेनी पीपल आर लिविंग दैट इज वॉट आई एम टेलिंग ये अमित यादव वेरी गुड द राइट आंसर इज बिहार सो इट इज हैविंग एलेवन हंड्रेड सिक्स परसन पर किलोमीटर स्क्वायर ये so in 1 km square 1106 people are living whereas if you talk about all india number it is 382 pura entire india mein density but in bihar it is very high if someone is asking the largest population agar pucha jaye then the answer is up theek hai or almost around 19.9 or 20 crore ke around theek hai population of up uh, bihar's population is i think 10.4 10.5 crore and all theek hai so population density when they are asking the answer is a Which state is having the highest percentage of scheduled tribe population? Quite interesting question. Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Mizoram. What is the right answer to this question? Percentage by sabse zyada scheduled tribe population kahan par hai? Okay, there's a homework. After the class is over, go and find out ki scheduled caste population wise highest kahan hai? Kaun se state mein? Which state? And percentage wise kaun se state? This is the homework. Go and find out. Okay. Similarly, find out scheduled tribe. पॉपुलेशन वाइज विच कौन से स्टेट में ठीक है और परसेंटेज वाइज कौन से स्टेट में दैट इज होमवर्क नहीं मध्य प्रदेश पीपल आर सिंह नो द राइट आंसर इज मिजोरम डी इज द राइट आंसर यस कुछ लोग ने डी बताया है यस तो ऑलमोस्ट आई थिंक इन 95 कुछ लोग कहते हैं बट समेर इट इज रिटर्न के एटी फाइव के अराउंड है सो आई मीन द हाइएस्ट परसेंटेज वाइज इज मिजोरम बट अगर पॉपुलेशन वाइज है सो इट सम अदर स्टेट सो गो इन फाइंड आउट दैट Similarly, scheduled caste का पूछा जाए कि population wise maximum scheduled caste population कौन से state में and percentage wise मतलब उस state का percentage wise पूछा जाए तो क्या कहाँ है? Go and find out. These are the four homeworks for you. And from there, they uh, I mean many times the questions are being asked in exam. ठीक है? Let's talk about science and technology. What is the name of the first privately built spacecraft launched from India recently? Vikram S. Azadi Sat Skyroot Space LVM3. What is the right answer? Waiting for the answer. This is very very important. Star mark this. Yes. Uh, the first privately built uh, spacecraft launch from India recently is Vikram S. Star mark it. Huh. Uh, Vikram Sarabhai ke naam par rakha gaya. Vikram Sarabhai uh, is actually considered as the father of Indian space program. Huh. Yes. A is the right answer. I know many people are saying sky route aerospace, but that's not correct. First private rocket is Vikram S. ठीक है. That has been launched from, of course, Satish Dhawan Space Center, which you will find it in Andhra Pradesh state. I mean, the name of island is Sri Hari Kota. ठीक है. Just have an idea about that. Now, yes, here is Satish Dhawan Space Center. यहाँ पे Polikat Lake है उसी के बगल में. Polikat Lake is here. Okay, yes. It is on the border of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, but actually it is in Andhra Pradesh. Sri Hari Kota is the island. Now the next one is हाँ देखते हो पुरी कटली के बगल में ना इंडिया's first private launch pad for a space aircraft has been built by whom Sky Skyru Aerospace Agnikul Cosmos SpaceX none of the above launch pad यहाँ पे रख पूछ रहा है ठीक है what is the right answer हाँ लॉन्च पैड की बात है अग्निकुल कॉस्मोस पोस कॉस्मोस ठीक है सो दैट इज द राइट आंसर देखो अब लेट मी क्लैरिफाइड फर्स्ट प्राइवेट रॉकेट पूछा जाए विक्रम एस मेड बाय एस स्काईरूट एरोस्पेस कंपनी का नाम है ये ठीक है नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज इफ दे आर आस्किंग लॉन्च पैड फर्स्ट प्राइवेट लॉन्च पैड जहां से लॉन्च किया जाता है रॉकेट सो दैट इज मेड बाय अग्निकुल कॉस्मोस सो बी इज द राइट आंसर इसमें कंफ्यूज नहीं करना है सर ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया ठीक है सो दैट इज व्हाई आई हैव क्लैरिफाइड दिस है ना It's actually Agnikul. You will find it inside IIT Madras. This is the uh, research center there. Okay. Yes. Uh, the next is which of the following launch vehicle has been renamed as LVM3? Launch vehicle, just come uh, Generally, we call it as rocket, but uh, it's more professional to use the word launch vehicle. PSLV, GSLV Mark One, GSLV Mark Two, GSLV Mark Three. Okay. Sab ko like button press kar do, yar. Everyone, two hundred plus likes le jao. Yes. So 25th February को 5:30 PM please do follow me with the testnet analysis on the same YouTube channel. Yes, GSLV Mark III, geosynchronous launch vehicle Mark III. So this is actually considered as one of the most powerful rocket India is having. ठीक है, so इसी का नाम अब change करके LVM3 कर दिया गया launch vehicle Mark III. ठीक है, so it's having, I mean it's very powerful and all. So the right answer is D. 
Yes, Richa, Manisha, Richa, Laudin, you are right. Where is the headquarter of ISRO? New Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, uh, Sri Harikota. What is the right answer? Yes, that's a Asana San question. Hai. Uh, ISRO ka headquarter, uh, then the chairman of ISRO. You must be knowing these things. So, the headquarter of ISRO you will find in Bangalore. So, I mean, I hope you are aware. Uh, yes, B is the right answer. Who is the chairman of ISRO? G. Satish Reddy, Samir V. Kamath, S. Somanath, K. Sivan. I said, Pele ka B tha. Sri Harikota nahi hoga. Sri Harikota is the launch station site. This is the place where rockets are launched, but the headquarters is in Bangalore. Uh, Okay, confuse nahi kijiye ka D or B method, both are different thing. Yes, ISRO chairman is actually S. Somanath. So, C is Mr. S. Somanath, C is the right answer. Yes, to this question. Okay, and uh, yes, uh, where is the headquarter of DRDO, Defense Research Development Organization? New Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Sri Harikota. What is the right answer? Headquarter of DRDO, Defense Research Development Organization. Is in New Delhi. Okay, so DC Adrakhan, DC Delhi, DC DRDO. So A is the right answer. Yes. And who is the chairman of DRDO, by the way? Okay, Delhi to say yoga. So I clarify He is the ISRO chairman. Okay. He is ex ISRO chairman. Okay. Before him, actually. He is the current DRDO chairman. And before him, G. Satish Shetty was actually the, so we will call it as ex-DRDO chairman. Okay? Is it clear? So you are supposed to know these two only. B or C, pata hona ke option B is DRDO chairman, option C is ISRO chairman. Ye yaad rakhi ka, these are important facts being asked in different exams. Uh, yes, go and read it. 26 August ko, he was been, has been appointed. The next is, I uh, am uh, giving some more homework. So in testnet, actually they have asked some questions from biology. Okay? So what I would suggest is if you can jugaad, if you have Lucent GK science book, okay. So and the Lucent get arranged a Lucent science book. There is a biology section there, and after the chapter of biology are over, they have given some questions, okay. So at least mar read those questions because they keep on asking questions from there. So okay. So you biology se prepare kar lijiye. Yes, the right answer is virus. Monkeypox is actually virus. So B is the right answer. Zoonotic disease. Zoonotic means which is transferred from animal to human. So, zoonotic word is used. James Webb Telescope actually launched last year will be stationed at L1, L2, L3, L4. What is the right answer? Sub go like button press kato guys. Everyone, please press the like button. Share this video. Subscribe to our channel. Sub go like button press kato. Uh, we have discussed in detail about it. James Webb Telescope has, uh, it will be replacing Hubble Telescope. Hana? And this will be actually in L2 orbit. So, B is the right answer to this question. Yes, so Smita, Amit. You are right, Hannah. So please go and read about James Webb Telescope. It is very, very important. You will find a lot of videos also on James Webb Telescope. That would be important. So these are the manufacturers, these three. Earth, so this is L2 point. Uh, the next one is what is the, yes, this is very, very important. They have asked questions from futuristic technology, and this is very, very, very important. Uh, everyone is aware of Chat GPT. Yes. So what is the full form of GPT in Chat GPT? ये काफी ज्यादा न्यूज़ में है चैट जीपीटी और हमको आई थिंक एक्सप्लेन करने की जरूरत नहीं व्हाट इज इट इट इज एन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सॉफ्टवेयर एंड ऑल कैन एनीवन टेल मी चैट जीपीटी हैज बीन मेड बाय व्हिच कंपनी यस अमित यादव वेरी गुड गुड हां भवनीत रंग यू आर राइट हां जनरेटिव प्री ट्रेंड ट्रांसफार्मर जीपीटी का फुल फॉर्म है व्हिच कंपनी हैज मेड दिस किसने बनाया है कोई बता कोई बता सकता है चैट जीपीटी में so the right answer actually is a chat generative pre-trained transformer banai hai open AI ne. So I hope you are where you go, you can ask questions and the machine will answer it. Na? So that is a very uh, new thing. Yes, A is the right answer. Many people are answering it. So A is the right answer to this question. Now this is again very, 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 very important question. Name the first endogenously developed aircraft carrier by India. Now endogenously means make in India. Make in India matlab, it has not been imported from somewhere else. Aircraft carrier means a ship which can carry aircraft. Aise ship jis pe aircraft ja sakhe na. Uh, nahin, Microsoft nahin, open AI ne banaya hai. Thik hai, Microsoft mein usme invest kar raha alag baat hai. But yes, yeah, open AI ha. INS Vikrant, so C is the right answer. And which company has made it? Some people are saying Vikram Aditya. No, Vikram Aditya we have bought from Russia. No, it's not B. It's C, INS Vikrant. Please remember it, this is very important. And please tell me. That which company has made this INS Vikrant? I am waiting for the answers. And the right answer is Cochin Shipyard Limited. 
देखो इस तरह का होता है ये इफ यू सी इट केयरफुल देखो इसमें ऐसे बना हुआ है ना दिस इज लाइक दिस वाई ऐसे इसलिए बना होता है ताकि प्लेन आराम से टेक ऑफ कर सके सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शेप इस तरह शेप बना रहता है ताकि फ्लाइट कैन टेक ऑफ है ना सो दैट इज ये कोचिंग शेप यार लिमिटेड इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है यस विच इज द फर्स्ट प्लान मिशन ऑफ इंडिया आर्य भट्ट रोहिणी गगन यान ये टिस्नेट प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन है टिस्नेट प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन है ठीक है फर्स्ट प्लान मैंड मिशन ऑफ इंडिया वट इज द राइट आंसर आर्यभट रोहिणी गगन यान आदित्य एलवन ठीक है देखो इफ आर्य भट्ट इज फर्स्ट सैटेलाइट ऑफ इंडिया ये फर्स्ट सैटेलाइट था विच वॉज लॉन्च इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव ठीक है But we are asking first manned mission, so the answer is Gaganyaan. Okay, so C is the right answer. अच्छा कुछ homework है. Go and read about this. आदित्य एलवन के बारे में पढ़िएगा. Read about it. ठीक है. And some more homework I am giving you. Uh, just wait. Uh, another is Chandrayaan three के बारे में पढ़िएगा. Read about Chandrayaan three. ठीक है. And read about Shukrayaan. So these are important ones. ठीक है. Or uh, read about आदित्य एलवन. These are the, you should be reading. ठीक है. So this is all about today's class. प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल देर इज सब्सक्राइब बटन देर नीचे सब्सक्राइब का बटन उसको दबा दो एंड फॉलो अस इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक टेलीग्राम एंड डाउनलोड द बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप एप थैंक यू एवरीवन नाउ विल बी मीटिंग यू टुमारो एट 9:30 पीएम कल मुलाकात होती साढ़े नौ बजे रात में थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग हैव अ नाइस डे